everybody, Dr. Mano here with Radio Pacifical Sir. This is going to be my first direct upload live because I've been having a problem with my PC and that damn Microsoft Windows program. Tell me this, when you go up to the house of Bill Gates and you ring his doorbell, do you hear the Microsoft Windows chime? Or when he's in traffic and he beeps his horn, is it the Windows chime, the Microsoft Windows chime? Anyway, that's not the focus of this video. And yes, I'm still uh, protesting naked if you are wondering. But the focus of this video is I am going to copyright and patent the fart. Okay, this is just like mailing your manuscript to yourself in a sealed envelope or or like putting uh, something in the public notices in, in a very obscure publication or registering something important in the Regis National Register's office. This is going to carry the same weight in legal ramifications. I will demand that YouTube will ding anyone who farts on a video to acknowledge the copyright material of it being mine, Dr. Minnow. It needs to be registered with Shazam to the monitoring program with music that YouTube likes to use so diligently and all royalties will be paid in advance to me. Since this is a copyright issue and protection, it includes musical farts such as classical farts, your rock and roll farts, your rhythm and blue farts, your country western farts, your reggae farts, e de todo pedos de latinos. Also included but not limited to dry farts, wet farts, skid mark farts, bus farts, which my kids are always trying to blame me for. Anytime they smell anything on the bus, they're always looking at me with that goofy Cheshire cat smile on their face. But believe me, it's not always me on the bus. Okay, this is also uh, going to include uh, bubbly underwater farts, including jacuzzis, bathroom farts, shower farts, under the sheet farts. Include any farts blamed on your dog, too. Arm farts are not included. Farting in public. Now, this is going to be an issue because this is copyright material. 25 cents per fart in public. We're going to install meters, like parking meters, and you have to deposit 25 cents in your nearest farting meter. You're volunteering 25 cents. If not, the traffic violation camera with audio will find you a whole dollar. You'll get a summons to appear in court like any traffic violation or infraction or like a hit and run. Or it will be up to the individual municipalities to proclaim, proclaim fart free zones, but they may miss out on some revenue. Any bar or restaurant can also have fart free zones within their own establishments. Okay, so Hollywood, listen up. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, this is my copyright material. But as a consequence, I promise to donate two cents per to the Aaron Swartz Foundation. Remember him, the big fighter of SOPA, that copyright fighter guy trying to keep corporate America out of our business. Remember he uh, so-called committed suicide January 11, 2013. Also, what I plan on putting into action is we need to put some special chemical in the water or in Coca-Cola or in fast foods or something to tint farts, vapors, purple or green or red, whatever color, so we know whom is guilty of spreading the air pollution. If carts were colored, many innocent dogs would go free. But also have an invention for the, for the prevention. An underwear muffler that farts pass through a charcoal filter, similar to like the pins, to filter out the smell and the tint. Another option could have a built-in striker, like on a lighter, so one could clench their butt cheeks and create <coughs> a spark to burn off the foul <coughs> methane. And these are humorously called blue dots. Blue dots. <coughs> And this will be your only exemption on farting in public, is to buy one of these pairs of underwear, Dr. Menno's Fart Preventer, Fart Muffler Buffer, for only $250. That's right. Okay, 
So as a gag, what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to start selling fart in a bottle for $1.99, only $1.99 plus shipping and handling. You get a one ounce bottle, a little medicine, uh, medicine uh, bottle kind of container for six ounces for $2.99, a half liter for $3.99. And we have our party family size in liter bottles for only $4.99. And arm farts are only half price. I'm also investing in the Frijoli factories and the bean banks. Mexico is going to be my biggest client. So gracias, <coughs> NAFTA. I'm going to make a fortune on the peso. So I'm Dr. Mill. I'm declaring myself <coughs> the king of farts. Only second to Bart Simpson. Okay, I'm going to close here with a cute little uh, poem here. It was sent to me years ago. The author is Anonymous, so I do have to give Mr. Anonymous credit. And here how it goes. A is a pleasant thing. It gives the belly ease. It warms the bed in the winter and suffocates the fleas. A can be quiet. A can be loud. Some even leave. A poisonous cloud. A can be short or a can be long. Some have been known to sound like a song. A can create a most curious medley. A can be harmless, silent, and deadly. A fart might not smell while others are vile. A may pass quickly or linger a while. A fart can occur in a number of places and leave everyone there with strange looks on their faces. From wide open prairie to a small elevator, a <coughs> will find all of us sooner or later. But all are not bad. It's simply not true. We must never forget, sweet old <coughs> like you. My dog does them too, and I blame them on you. We all know what you ate. That was on that plate. That couldn't been apple, but when you need to go poo, it smelt rather too spicy. Better bring along some icy. <coughs> so remember, Hollywood, you too. If anybody has any fart intentionally or in the background or coincidentally in any videos, they have to acknowledge third party content and pay me 25 cents, which I will donate two cents to the Aaron Schwartz Fund. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Mental from Radio Pacifico, sir.